Hey, Will here. How you guys doing? It's hot out here. I don't think we'll do the video in the garage today. It's just too darn hot. But I got some good stuff to go over. So come on, let's go down in the basement and get it started. See you in a few. I'm prepping. Uh, you guys see the new logo I put up? Uh, I'm working on getting those decals made. It'll be a, a cling so you can reuse it. But they're going to be kind of cool. I thought I had it down here with me for the video, but I left it upstairs so it'll have to be next time I show you. But if you go and you know, look at my Google or my Twitter thing for my just-in-time prepping, you'll see it. I have it already up there. Anyway, uh, it's hotter than a two-peckered billy goat outside, so I'm going to do it down here where it's a little cooler. We're in the basement of my home, so I thought today, let me get my pins over here. I thought today we would look at the map and we will talk about uh, bugging out because... Say, let's just say that we had an EMP attack. Uh, are you going to stay bugged in? You probably will. You'll probably stay in until you have to get out. But if you're going to get out, let me get the black out here. If you're going to get out, where, where do you think you're going to bug out to? Let's talk about that. Well, we already know that North Korea is getting closer and closer to being able to uh, fire on our west coast. So I'm thinking that uh, it's going to leave all this area right here off limits for bugging out. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I drew a line there. Uh, so we'll leave it up there anyway. And uh, so here we are going across like this and then um, they're probably going to have somebody fighting with them. My guess would be Russia or China, maybe both. And they have air, air support, so um, they're probably going to think about hitting us where it really hurts. And uh, that will be out here on the East Coast. And I would say probably from New York here. Let me get the pin try to get to show a little bit better. Probably from New York down through Virginia here. So you'll be able to see that I'm sure. But the East Coast border is probably going to be kind of off limits also because they'll be trying to get Washington DC. So that's going to leave everything from Nevada Probably all the way out here to uh, Ohio, Kentucky, Georgia. I'm thinking that uh, Florida, Florida will probably be off limits. Not for uh, attack wise, but because it's just a big area and they'll probably try to do something that will flood it. They, I understand from all the reading I do that they can set off a tsunami if they really want to. Not only, I think that we can, not only can we, I'm sure that Russia or China could probably do that also. So I'm thinking anything along the coastlines are gonna be probably not a good idea to be bugging out to, you know? Hey, let's go down here like this. And then we can come across here like this. So those are the areas that you're not going to want to bug out to either. Because if they create some sort of tsunami, then, uh, then all these areas are going to flood. And we already know that from the hurricane that we're having right now, that uh, this area right here is uh, floodable. Because it just... They're having a terrible time there. So now we're down to, uh, let's see, we got a pretty small area here. 
I don't know if you guys keep up with the reading or if you don't, but most of you, if your preppers are keeping up with something. So, I'm saying that this is the area that you'd want to bug out to. Now, if we were to just take this, I'm trying to get it to go wide so that you can actually see it. And go right down the middle like this. There. Now, you've got this area. Now, these areas here are probably the, uh, the plains, the plain states. This is the, then we have the Rockies that go right through here. All those would be excellent places to bug out because get up in the mountains, how are they going to find you? That's my, my thinking now. So, if you're gonna, let me get the other pin out. This one's not working. Yeah, this right here to me would be a good spot to think about bugging out to. Now, that's just my idea, but you can uh, have whatever idea you want. I know that uh, uh, the area I live in right now, I'm going to stay there as long as I can. But when I have to leave, I'm going to be somewhere in that circle, and I'm not going to tell you where, but I'll be somewhere in that circle there. And I have already got it all set up. I, I have a bug out location there, and I work on it, to, me and my son, that we work on it uh, from time to time, so that we are going to be prepared for bugging out when the time comes. So, here, I don't know where you live now. I'm not saying anything, but might be able, I don't, it'd be a, iffy, but maybe in this area right here would be a good place to bug out too. So, there's some mountains and stuff in there. And uh, my idea of uh, getting in the mountains is probably our best bet for bugging out. Even if they have an EMP attack, or even if they uh, attack us some other way, drop bombs, whatever. So, uh, actually we have this mountain range here. We have a small mountain range over here. I don't know if you can see my, my pin. Uh, and uh, then you've got these low lying areas here. So, uh, I am re I'm presently within this area right here. I'm not going to tell you exactly where my pin is not trying to work, but I'm somewhere in that area right there right now. So, my plan is to stay put there uh, until, I don't know, until they decide that they're going to martial law or whatever. But uh, when they start setting up martial law, if they don't get to setting up the, uh, start putting the, infrastructure back together then this area here they'll probably start putting people in FEMA camps and stuff and I'm not trying to scare you don't think that I'm just saying that that would be the easiest way to take care of the people that uh, don't aren't preppers they they don't have any food stored up or they don't have any water or clothing or anything like that so they're gonna put them in, in FEMA camps to protect them that's that's what they're gonna do so, uh, I am thinking of bugging out of there, and I'm going to go somewhere in, in this circle over here. I kind of lost track of it, but let me get it in there. There we go. Somewhere in this circle, I have a bug, I personally have a bug out location. And that's where I'm going to go when I can no longer stay in this area here. And, you know, it's, it's nice here and everything, and the towns and the cities are small. Everybody kind of sticks together, but if something goes wrong, you don't really know that much about your neighbors or anything. So, and I'm going to stay bugged in as long as I can, and then pack up the old Jeep that I have, and I'm going to bug out to somewhere in this location right here. And uh, so we know, stay away from this area, because that's the west coast, and I'm pretty sure that that's going to be an attack point. And same way over here, if you see this little squiggly line I put in, 
this is the east coast and when we're under attack I'm pretty sure that's going to be a hot spot too. So and then we've got all this border here. It could flood from a, a man-made tsunami or even just a tsunami. So then we still have the Canadian border up here. I'm not thinking they're going to let us in. I'm just not thinking they're going to let us in. They might fight next to us. I just don't think they're going to let us in. That's my opinion. So, with all that said, what are you going to do? What, what have you got planned? Because if you don't have a plan, <laughs> you're going to be in one of those camps. Can't do anything about it. And if you're a good prepper, you already have the food, the water, the clothing, and the shelter. As for me, I have a shelter here, and I have a shelter in this area also. What have you got? That's my question of the day. What are you going to do when the time comes? I have a plan. Do you have a plan? If you have a plan, I want to know. Leave it in the comments down there. I saw one of the other prepper channels uh, the other day, and... Uh, I'll just call his channel out sort of as a, a attaboy thing, and it's throttle up prepping. And he had it; he hit the nail on the head. He uh, said, instead of going to the gym, get out of the house. I thought that was a pretty good idea, you know. Instead of going and working out in the gym, getting those big muscles, you know, saying, "Yeah, I'm in shape," go out and do some hiking. Go out in the mountains, go on a trail, go out and hike for a couple hours and see what you, what kind of stamina you have. That's a pretty good goal. So, you know, that's, a, that's the deal. Places to stay away from, possibilities of bugging out. Uh, this is where I live, this is where I'm going to live eventually when uh, I have to bug out. And I have, oh, here's another thing. Not only do I have what I need here, I also am already starting to get the stuff I need there too. So that when I have to pack up the Jeep, all I have to take is the bare necessities. I have already made a list of stuff that I'm going to take and the stuff I'm going to leave. That's something you should do too. Have a list of something you're going to leave behind and the stuff that you're going to take with, so that when the time comes, you're not running around saying, Oh, what can I do? What am I going to leave? What am I going to take? That's uh, kind of non-productive, so you make a list of what you plan on taking with you. If you don't have a secondary bug out location, guess what? You'd better get one. Just a second. You can look at this map and see that... Uh, we have a big country. However, as you start thinking about what's going to happen in uh, times of uh, SHTF, our large company country kind of gets smaller. So you got to take away the East Coast, you got to take away the West Coast, you got to leave a little bit in between. And I know there's a lot of people that live in this area, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Iowa, those kind of places. And those are really nice places. I'm not knocking it one darn bit because I've been there. It's beautiful country there. But what if, you know, just ask yourself, what if? If something happens, is that really going to be where you want to be? And uh, I guess that's really what it comes down to, is when you're bugging in, are you sitting there just waiting for the infrastructure to come back? Or are you making a plan on doing something else because the government is not moving fast enough to get everything put back together? Because you may have to start all over again. You just will put that somewhere in the back of your mind is you may have to start all over again. So, you know, that's what I got. The map. The map tells the tells tells the tale. You know. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys anymore because it just starts becoming redundant. But if you look at the map, it kinda of tells the story. 
You know, what if uh, we go under attack? What if uh, for some reason our own government decides to uh, start some sort of uh, anarchy? I guess that'd be the best word. So we all have to be prepared. And I, for one, am prepared. Are you? Okay, that's what I got for today. I want to tell you guys about the contest. Remember the contest. I want you guys to either have a t-shirt or a hat, but you have to do the work. Go back. There's only a few videos backwards and go find out what you got to do to get a hat or a t-shirt. These aren't the t-shirts, but I have, if you look over there, I guess you can't see it in the camera. One of the t-shirts are hanging up over there. And uh, that's uh, uh, one of the t-shirts, but I'm going to have some new ones made of the new logo that I've come up with. So be giving away the old style and the new style now. Also, we have another contest uh, about the subscribers. So if uh, we get to 100 subscribers, guess what? I'm going to take the little hat off, put all the names in the hat, draw one lucky winner. There we go. $100 of a survival bucket. A prepping bucket it'll have at least a hundred dollars worth of gear in there food and gear think about it when we get to 250 it'll be the same thing only thing is to be 250 dollars worth of food and gear in it so hey share my videos that's how you how we're gonna get there get people to subscribe watch the videos comment down below that's how it all works. So, you know, it's, guess what? That's what I have for you today. A little food for thought. Think about what you're going to do when uh, SHTF happens. Yeah, most uh, preppers are thinking about it all the time. And in today's uh, times, we really think about it a lot. So, until next time, remember, God bless you. God bless me and God bless the U.S. of A. Guess what? I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop next time. Bye.